Thank you to all our backers who work with us to bring Savvy Dog to life. This is Savvy Dog 1.0. It came with three different connector kits, the Lightning, 30 pin and micro USB. Now with the last few months, we've taken all the feedback that we received and we've used that to create Savvy Dog 2.0. In this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between the two and also share information about when to expect Savvy Dog 2.0. So the, they both retain the same S shape, which Savidoc is known for. On the front end, we've changed the non-slip pads to make the new one more robust. On the bottom, we've also made some changes. As you can see, the original one had the two long pads. Now we've gone to four small, very durable pads. The original one had just two channels for the Lightning and the Samsung cables. We've added three more channels. So from the small lightning cable to the large Samsung 3.0 cable and anywhere in between. We've also added a flat channel for those MFI cables or those third party cables that are flat. So with this one you can use a wider variety of cables. Also we've gone from the little tiny screw that we had from the first one to regular sized Phillips head screws that you can actually use the screwdrivers you have around the house with. So these are the physical changes we've made to the dock itself to improve it. With Savvy Dock 1.0 we only had a lightning receiver kit, micro USB and 30 pin. And those work with specific cables. With the Savvy Dock 2.0 we've created a brand new universal kit that will work with not just factory cables but also third party cables. This is the lightning adapter and this is the main hub of the universal kit. It comes with four screws that have nylon tips so that they protect your device cable when they come in contact with it. This is the cable envelope and this will fit cables such as a Samsung 3.0 and it's height adjustable as well. It will fit cables like the Samsung 2.0 adjustable to the height as well. It will fit third party micro USB cables. and it'll also fit MFI lightning cables. You can adjust for height as well. Now this is the lightning um, adapter which works with a factory lightning cable. You simply put that in, you can use the cable tightening screws on the side and you pass that through, you adjust it to the height that you need and you tighten it in place. So with a combination of, this, of these two, we're able to use more cables than we were with Savvy Dock 1.0. Another thing we've added to the equation is we've added a landscape kit. Now, a lot of our backers wanted to be able to use their devices in landscape mode without having to take, without having to disassemble Savvy. So once your cable is set up in the universal kit, all you do is you take your landscape kit which has a silicone covering here and you slide it on top of the cable just like that and then your devices can simply sit in landscape while leaning on top of Savvy Dock and we'll show you that shortly. So the new Savvy Dock comes with the universal kit, that's these two, as well as the landscape kit. We're going to demonstrate the use of a landscape kit. It's got a nice silicone bottom layer which protects your devices. So here we have installed a lightning cable with a new universal kit. It still looks very nice, sleek and simple. The cable fits in the smallest of the channels. We're not going to peel off this protective um, layers and use the sticky pad at this time. So let's use an iPad mini for demonstration. So take your iPad mini as you would usually dock it in, just like that. So let's take it off. So remember, you take your landscape kit, slide it over the universal kit, and there you go, you can now use your devices in landscape orientation. You can also use them in portrait. Here's an example of using the landscape kit with a Samsung Galaxy S5. Pull it off, slide it over the universal kit, and put your device in landscape orientation.